All right, I'm Gerson from Weedmark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect the Wi-Fi LED controller to your existing home or business Wi-Fi signal. All right, first thing I'm going to go over uh, what you'll need for this. Obviously, you're going to need the Wi-Fi LED controller, and then you're also going to need the LED Wi-Fi receiver. You'll need the EasyColor smartphone app, which is available on a website, free to download. And then you're also going to need um, some LED rope light. Now all this is available in a kit on our website. And you also get a power supply and the, um, your rope light. Uh, you're also going to need a Wi-Fi signal, an existing Wi-Fi signal from your home or business. You're going to need access to this Wi-Fi. Um, once you have access, you're going to need it to find an open static IP address. And below is an example of something we would need. Now I'm going to um, overview what the process we're going to do here. First, we're going to log into our, our Wi-Fi, home Wi-Fi, and then I'm set up or find out what, where an open IP address is. We're going to remember that IP address and then we're going to log into the LED controller, um, search for our home Wi-Fi, configure that controller to that open IP address, and then restart the um, controller. Then we'll be able to sync the controller and the um, smartphone app to our existing Wi-Fi signal. So they'll all be communicating on our uh, home or business Wi-Fi signal. This will enable us to send a signal to the receiver, which will be connect, uh, hardwired to the rope light, which we can control through our smartphone. Okay, the first step is to log into our home Wi-Fi and find an open IP address. I've already done that. Uh, we have a Netgear router, so I logged into my Netgear, and I see here that we have an uh, open IP address of uh, 192.168.1.8, so the next, the op next open one would be 9. So be, our open one would be 192.168.1.9. That's an open IP address, which I can use. Okay. And also, I already have my LED controller plugged into an outlet. And by default, it sends out its own Wi-Fi signal. Now, if you do a search, you'll see that Wi-Fi signal is going to be easy color. So now, I'm going to write down that open IP address I just found. The 192.168.1.9 is open. So I'm going to uh, connect to the easy color Wi-Fi signal. So this is connecting us to the Wi-Fi controller. Now, that Wi-Fi controller in order to get um, access to it to the settings, it has this IP address we need to set in. So the IP address is 10.10.100.254. So I will connect to that. It's going to ask us for the username and password, which the username is easy color. And the password, the, the default pass, manufacturer password, default password is 1234. All right, now I'm logged into the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi LED controller. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, the modes selection. We're going to change the mode to STA mode, and hit apply. What we're going to do is click on the STA interface settings. So I'll click on that, and this will bring us an option to search for a home Wi-Fi signal. So I'll click search, and if you look down here, our Netgear, or our Netgear, it finds our Netgear Wi-Fi signal, so um, click on that and apply. So that's going to ask us to put in a password for the Wi-Fi signal. So down here, I'm going to put in my password for my Wi-Fi signal. and then hit apply. 
I'm going to go back to the STA interface settings. And then on the WAN connection type, I'm going to change it to static, fixed IP address. Now remember that open IP address I told you to write down? This is where we put it in. We 192. Dot The open one is going to be nine in our in our case. So then the subdomain mask, I'll just put a default subdomain. All right, now I'm going to put in a default gateway. Now my default gateway would just be the 192.168.1.1. That's the default gateway. So after I put in all this information, I'll hit apply. Okay, at this point, I'll go down to device manager. And then I'm going to restart the LED uh, Wi-Fi controller. So this is going to reboot it which means we're going to lose the easy color Wi-Fi signal because it's going to no longer be sending out the easy color Wi-Fi signal because it's going to be it's going to be onto our home network Wi-Fi signal or business Wi-Fi signal. So if you look up here in the corner you see my Wi-Fi signal's going away. Click on it. I'm losing it. So then so you got lost it. So now I'll get on to the Netgear Wi-Fi. The next part I'll show you how to, after you download the app onto your smartphone, connect your smartphone app to the LED controller and control your LED lights. So here we have our smartphone. On the phone I already have the Easy Color app installed on it. So first thing I want to do, and this is our LED Wi-Fi controller that was just configured to that open IP address on our home Wi-Fi signal network. So, first thing I'm gonna do on the smartphone is go to settings and then check my Wi-Fi settings on this phone. I'll make sure I'm on the same Wi-Fi signal that the LED, the Wi-Fi LED controller is on. If you look up here, I'm on Netgear, which is for this example, the same uh, Wi-Fi network. So we're, we're both we're on the same network. Next thing I'm gonna do is open up the Easy Color app. First thing you get when you first open the app is you haven't added a network connection. So would you like to add one now? So we click yes. That will bring us to the settings. Here we'll click add. Add Wi-Fi. Here we'll have a few options. The SSID. For this I'll just give it a just give it a general name, I'll give it this. Give it this test, it's fine. Now on the IP address, this is important, we'll put in the same IP address as we configured the Wi-Fi LED controller to. So, for this example, it was the 192 dot one six eight. One dot nine. Dot nine. Okay, so so the IP address is the same one. We put it. We configured this one too. So we're addressing this Wi-Fi LED controller. The next box is just the default. We can put in a default setting of eight eight nine nine. Next box, we we'll name this connection. So I'll say this is like a showroom. Showroom. All right. And the last thing we'll do is we'll toggle this from off to on. So on. Connecting. And if you don't get an error message, that means it's connected to the Wi-Fi LED controller. So at this point, I'll just hit back to bring me to the controller. And look up here. When I move the color wheel, 
that red LED, the red light blinks on the smartphone and it blinks on the Wi-Fi controller. This means that we've successfully can sync the two. So now we'll be able to control our rope light.